Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to another one. Now this time, I'm gonna be reacting to something new. This is from a channel uh, called SML Theory. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've seen this channel before, but once, once. There is one video that I have seen from this channel and it's called, uh, I think it's titled along the lines of Hank Huckergoo could be Luigi. You know, Luigi's Mario's brother. Um, Hank Huckerdoo could be his brother. So I watched the video and he made a good point, honestly. He makes somewhat of a good point. And um, I got the idea to react to this channel because um, I think people have suggested me to check out this channel. And last night when I was on live uh, on my second channel playing Fortnite with, my, with, uh, with Matt and a couple of subscribers, a couple of subscribers suggested me to uh, react to SML Theory. So I was like, okay, I'll look into it. So now I'm here now um, and I'm gonna react to this video title, SML Five Nights at Freddy's 4 Speculations. So right off the bat, it sounds pretty interesting. Like, I mean, off the bat, I've seen, I've seen the channel. They made a lot of interesting videos. I mean, they make like Easter egg videos as well. Obviously theory videos, like uh, the Hancock do being Luigi. So. Yeah, um, if you guys uh, enjoy this reaction, I can definitely do more uh, from this channel. I could definitely do more reactions from this channel. So, yeah, um, but that's only if you guys, that's mainly if you guys like this reaction and you want to see more from me. So, I mean, if I like it, I could definitely do more. If you guys like it, I'll definitely do more. So, we'll just see. So, with that being said, if you have not yet subscribed, to SMO Theory, the link to the original is in the description down below. Be sure to go subscribe to SMO Theory if you haven't yet already. So, with that being said, let's get into this. SML Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is coming soon. At the end of episode 3, Jeffy hinted at the fact that the Five Nights at Freddy's restaurant gave him nightmares, mm. which directly references the fourth game. Mm -hmm. And at the very end of the video, they even said part 4 coming soon. Hell However, yeah. I believe that part 4 is coming a lot sooner than you might think, because oh. the last three episodes had to be filmed on sets. Because in the first and second games, you're at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Hey Marvin, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I already gave Jeffy the tour last time, so I'm not going to do that again i just wanted to show you the animatronics jeffy beat up he kicked all their asses <laughs> sure did daddy because they were trying to kill us <laughs> and in the third game you're at a replica of the restaurant the place burned down last night it burned down yeah all the animatronics burned up except for one so i decided to turn the place into a horror attraction i set the whole place up to look like a big haunted house with security cameras and everything like like you're really there so i'm gonna charge kids ten dollars to come visit it do, do you guys know any kids that would pay ten dollars to come get scared well three of my friends are in that room over there you could ask them three that's like 30 bucks okay but in the fourth game it's inside of a bedroom which mm -hmm. would make it insanely easy for sml to film yeah. which probably means that the video is coming out this saturday because oh. so far episodes two and three came out on a saturday however episode one came out on a friday but yeah. that's probably so they could release the video on the same day the actual five nights at Freddy's oh, yeah. movie came out but what's actually yeah and since it's in a bedroom i wonder if they're gonna use one of the rooms in the filming house or they're actually gonna uh go to go get another setup for the um, for the the video because it's in a bedroom but the bedroom is if you guys played five nights at freddy's 4 you'll know there's two doors and there's a closet in the middle so they more than likely will go um to another place to set up uh for the video because they need two doors and then they need a closet in the middle they need a bed in the middle and the, the bed in the, yeah the bed behind them so yeah, um, he is making a good point, because uh, 2 and 3 released on a Saturday, even though the first one was released on a Friday, which was the same day as the actual movie was released. That does make sense, but the thing is, like, would, would they have enough time to release it by this Saturday, or would it be next Saturday? That's the question. It's going to be in the fourth Five Nights at Freddy's episode. Well, I did a ton of research on all the Five Nights at Freddy's lore, as well as the fourth game's gameplay mechanics, and took hints from the past Five Nights at Freddy's episodes that we got to come up with this speculation. Okay. So far, every episode has been based off of a game. Episode one was based off of the first game, and same with two and three, respectively. And mm -hmm. Jeffy confirmed at the end of the video that he gets nightmares. Nightmares. I'm never going back there ever again, because that place gave me... Nightmares. 
Uh -huh. It's confirmation that the fourth episode will be about the fourth game and its story. Hell yeah. Because in the fourth game, it's revealed that it was a nightmare slash hallucination. But it's important to understand the lore, so I'll sum it up quickly. Most of this coming from the official Five Nights at Freddy's book known as Didophobia, which came out not too long ago, so you probably haven't even heard of this. One day, a seven-year-old boy named Rory was in his house packing his things for school. And after he ate breakfast, he went to go look for the door to go to school. But he couldn't find the door, as it suddenly just wasn't there anymore so oh. he looked out the window and saw that it was dark so he went to bed however in his sleep the animatronics that looked similar to the freddy fazbear's pizza animatronics would scare him in his sleep and this nightmare went on for 10 straight years Shit. however he woke up one day and said no more nightmares but suddenly he realized his voice had deepened he had gotten taller and his body became thinner oh. he wasn't seven anymore he was 17. 17 and it turns out the entire time he was in a replica of his own house House that William Afton, who was played by Mr. Winkle, was experimenting on him using gas that would cause people to hallucinate. Mm -hmm. However, soon after, William Afton would put his own son, Michael Afton, in the experiment, and that's who we see playing the game in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Wow. Which already brings me to a lot of conclusions of things that will 100% be coming in the fourth episode. The first being that it's going to be recorded in a bedroom, and will probably include a lot of movement as Five Nights at Freddy's 4 does make you move around a lot. Yeah. Jeffy will also be the main character as at the end of the third episode he already says that he gets nightmares yeah, he, that's the entire he gets nightmares. basis of the fourth game jeffy will probably get kidnapped by mr winkle and given the mushroom pizza as that's what they've been mm. using to make the characters hallucinate wait you have pizza yeah mushroom pizza you eat enough of that you gotta start seeing some scary shit for us okay well i guess we eat some pizza and jeffy will I, I was on i think i want i think i said in the reaction that i wanted to try shroom pizza and i'll get fucked up <laughs> have to play five nights at freddy's four in real life but this time he won't be able to escape himself someone is gonna have to come save him either being marvin and rose or brooklyn guy who stops mr winkle and gets jeffy out of his hallucinogenic state but now we have to talk about gameplay mechanics yeah. what is jeffy going to do we know the sml really goes into detail with all the game mechanics as in the second episode they completely revamped the security office to play just like the second game as well as introducing the same items that were in the game yeah even the character well, who's that thing? Yeah, oh, yeah Balloon that, Boy. That's Balloon Boy. He's a total asshole. How is he an asshole? Well, he just likes to turn the lights out like he pays the power bill. I really hope in the fourth episode they, like, redesign the animatronics to where they actually are nightmares. Like, the nightmare animatronics. Because in the in the three episodes, they pretty much use the same, like, model of, care, the, of the animatronics. Like, you know, the first game is the normal animatronics. And, you know, the second game, it has the toy animatronics and the wither animatronics, but they use the same ones from the first episode. And the third one, they had Springtrap, but they still had the same Chica, the same Freddy, and the uh, same Balloon Boy. Um, Chica looked a little burnt. I saw some, like, black stuff on her face, so it kind of looked like she was a little bit burnt, like she is in the game. But I really hope that they actually make uh, the, uh, the animatronics nightmare, like, like the actual nightmare animatronics, instead of reusing the same um the same uh characters for the first three episodes because you know i want the fourth episode to be scary i want it to be intense i want it to be like uh, just above and beyond the uh, the previous three episodes here no don't you do it you f <laughs> god damn it balloon boy turn the lights back on wait a minute we haven't won the music box in a while let me check oh, wind it, wind it, wind it, oh wind yeah it, and the puppet it. the muppet I call it the Muppet. Her, actually. Her. Oh, God, this is so stressful. And in the third episode, they went to a completely new set and even included the vents and hallucination characters, as well as the control panel, and tried to make it exactly the same as the game. Is that the thing I'm trying? Yeah, oh, oh, okay, let's just uh, reboot that real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, who wants to come check the vent with me? I'll go with you. Okay, come on. I'm staying here with a pizza that makes no one easy. So, in the fourth episode, when they copy Five Nights at Freddy's 4, there are a bunch of things that they'll have to add such yeah. as a door on each side of a bedroom mm -hmm. which i'm not sure how they're gonna do yeah. in the sml house so they might have to build another set yeah that's, not that's what i was trying to sure. say they'll need to bring two brand new characters such as nightmare fredbear and nightmare mm -hmm. as well as every single other character to change into their nightmare form, that's what i'm, I'm saying. not sure if they'll do but they'll also have to introduce the freddles where in the game small little versions yeah. of nightmare fredbear would appear on the bed behind you and so you'd have to shine a light on them to scare them mm -hmm. away. and if three freddles are on the bed the next one to appear is, is the Freddy. actual nightmare Fredbear, mm -hmm. and he 
he comes to kill you. But one thing that has me curious is the closet. Yeah. The closet is actually one of the main mechanics in the game, but mm -hmm. it's for Foxy. Yeah. Once he's in there, you'll have to shut the... But Foxy is the cool character in the series, so I wonder, like, who's gonna be in the closet? Is it gonna be Foxy, or is it gonna be another animatronic? What about Mangle? Mangle? Because I remember Mangle was in the fourth game, but she was in the Halloween special. There's so many questions. Closet door for at least five seconds if he gets too close to stop him from killing you. Mm. However, in the SML episodes, Foxy is actually a good guy and would help Jeffy. I never thought I'd die in a That's what I'm battle. saying. So like, what are they going to do about that? Unless he turns evil. Yeah, unless he turns evil somehow. I don't know how they're going to do this. Foxy good? Oh, yeah, he's awesome. Hey, hey, Foxy, Foxy, can you get us out of here? Thanks. Unless his twin brother is nightmare. It's possible that they might not include the closet part of the game, or they'll have another character use the closet. Yeah. And then there's also the plush trap mini game. The plush trap, I remember that. You have to try and shine the light on I always trap suck at this game, game. On the X, And if you succeed, the next night will skip you ahead two hours to 2 a.m. But every single SML Five Nights at Freddy's episode has only been one night, so they yeah. might not include this. But uh -huh. now that we know what they'll do, what's going to happen with the characters and the story? Well, using all of the information from the games, as well as the book and I want that book SML actually episodes, my theory is that the video will start out with a shot of Jeffy being asleep in his bed while he's snoring mm -hmm. and the camera will zoom in on his head and then will be taken into his dream where he'll be in the five nights at Freddy's four bedroom with the two doors on each side and closet in the middle mm -hmm. however he was put there by Mr. Winkle mm. because Mr. Winkle fed Jeffy more of the mushroom pizza to oh. make him hallucinate and give him these nightmares and Jeffy will be stuck of course Mr. Winkle would do that loop. he'll have to try and stop the nightmare animatronics from killing him but in the meantime Marvin and Rose will realize that Jeffy isn't in his room anymore and that he was kidnapped and so they'll call Brooklyn guy over and tell him what happened and so they try and figure out where Jeffy went and eventually they put a stop to Jeffy's nightmares and save him from Mr. Winkle but will they kill Mr. Winkle? No as William Afton was in Five Nights at Freddy's sister location and since sister location is the next game mm -hmm. after Five Nights at Freddy's 4 they'll still need him for that episode yeah. but we'll if they make that episode and see for what they actually do as the possibilities are endless but let me know what your theory is or if I missed anything down in the comments thanks Thanks for watching and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's made a lot of good theories. I even like mentioned some things before he even like right before he mentioned it. Like for Foxy, like are they gonna like like is he even gonna be like a part of the nightmare animatronics? Or he is gonna be a nightmare animatronic, but he's still gonna be Foxy is in the previous three episodes. He's gonna be he's still gonna be cool, he's just gonna live in the closet. Or they have another animatronic that's in that cl closet, like Mangle, because Mangle, uh, he she's in the closet, and Nightmare and Fred, Nightmare and Fredbear, they're in the closet as well when they appear, and the Night Marionette, uh, yeah, Night Marionette. So there's like a lot of questions, there's a lot of theories that like I'm just all of a sudden getting. Like I'm just so excited. I'm just really hoping they go all out on this episode. I really hope so. I really want this, the episode to be scary, more intense, more jump scares, like just intent, and like moments where I'm just like, this, like what the hell could happen? Just like, I'm trying to be ready for something or I'm not an expect, I, expecting anything. So yeah, like I'm assuming they might get a new set because they need two doors for a bedroom and normally you don't really have a bedroom with two doors unless it's a door to out in the hallway or the closet. So they might have to get another set for that because it might be kind of hard to do that in the filming house. So, yeah, and hopefully they redesign the animatronics where they're actually in their nightmare. Um, they're actually uh, the, the nightmare version of themselves instead of just the regular ones because it's kind of like what they did in the in uh, the second and third episode. They, they reused the same characters. So I'm really hoping they, like, redesign them to make them uh, the nightmare versions of themselves. So, yeah. Um, and other than that... Um, yeah, um, he definitely made some good theories, some good points on what could go down in this episode or what we're hoping could go down in the fourth episode. And we still have Sister Location as well. So I'm really hoping they can make a, a, a parody of that as well because um, I like Sister Location. Even though I've never beaten the game, I've always been stuck on night three. I really hope they continue on. So yeah, um, I think that's everything. I'm just really hoping FNAF 4 uh, or SML FNAF 4 
like goes way up and beyond i'm just really hoping it's a good one so yeah anyways guys if you enjoy this um if you enjoy this reaction from sml3 and if you want more then support this video give it like uh leave a comment down below if you want more of these and i'll definitely do more so that being said if you enjoy this be sure to give this video a like if you haven't yet subscribed be sure to do so right now turn on notifications to be notified for any video that i upload and i'll catch you guys later in the next one whenever i start doing that so if you guys enjoy i'll catch you guys later so take care